If you want to be a magnificent story, then be begin by realizing that you are the author, and every day you have the opportunity to write a new page. All right? We didn't take advantage of writing that page the last two times, although we had positioned ourselves to do it. A lot of times you don't get a chance for a third time. You have a chance to take care of business. You know this team like the back of your hand. You know the adjustments that you would need to make in games. It is all laid out there for you. It is all laid out there. It's the first game of your tournament. Take care of business and advance. All right? Here we go. Bears trigger intersection of the base and lane line right. Get the ball to Gray Lawson. Lexi and Deep over the way. Laid up and in. Great screen off the left double. Bears hedge and recover. Now off a screen. It's Brandon. Lose the handle. Taken by Pierre. Now there goes Eliza. Away from the pack all the way. Lefty lob is good there. Lexi Stutter still trying to lose man. Take the ball to the elbow. Rise up. 18 footer. Yes. Alexis Gray Lawson. And a timeout charge to Charlie Turner Thorne. Shot clock at 13, a lot of standing around. So Natasha goes middle, two foot leaner on the way, around and in, tough shot. 15-8, Cal's largest lead. Tobin with six, now Tobin with five. High luck of the basketball's man, rise up, three on the way, yes, tough shot. Left baseline, give it to Brandon. Off balance, lean around the way, 10 footer, yes, tough shot over Alexis Gray Lawson. And ASU leads by one at 18-17. Natasha by the outside, right, McKinney watches her up top of Federico. That's not Mooch, that's not, that's not our team. It's never to throw an intentional foul. I think she was trying to clear space. And I, I told him just kind of in that huddle, like, we can't do anything about it. It's the five that are here that have to play the last, you know, five minutes of this half and, and get and take care of it. And I thought momentum shifted a little bit this end of the half when we got, you know, an easy layup and a bucket or two that, that way. So I think going into the locker room, our focus was about taking care of the ball when it came out and then um, the rebounding and changing the last five minutes. So... Golden Bears with 20 seconds to play in the half. Lead pass to Cole. Tony laid up and in and one and bring her to the line. Now Lasia Clarendon to the foul line. Penetrate look for Seam all the way. Scoop it up and in. Lasia Clarendon with tied at 26. I just figured I just need to post big and then um, just get my guards, you know, um, better look. And because I know a lot of um, a lot of attention was on Lexi when she started taking over, so I just tried to do my fair share and just contribute. Lexi Clarendon outside right. Starwood wants the ball in the post. Anisha for the lead. Yes. We knew it was going to come down to this. I, I just knew it. I knew it was going to be a game just like it was, you know, at our place and at their place. A double screen. Waits. Lexi goes the other way. Jump free. Gray Lawson with the steal. There goes Lexi all the way, laying up and in. Cal by four. 43-39. Lexi with the steal of Marcelo. I felt like we just kind of survived the first half, but I thought we really came out and played a great second half. I thought Tasha's charge uh, down the stretch was huge. Um, I thought we did a good job of, I knew they were going to give the ball to her still and just started to let her go, and I thought Lex did an unbelievable job on her just shutting her down at the end of the game, which we didn't do in those first two. And I think on the offensive end, it was taking good shots. Three-pointer on the way, yes! The first three of the game for the California Golden Bears, who now lead by seven. Gray Lawson, watched by Brandon, timer at 10. Lexi goes middle, all the way, create the contact, scoop it up and in! Gray Lawson has given California an eight-point lead. We just kind of want to just make sure that we gave all that we could possibly give. Um, you know, it, this could have been my last Pac-10 game, so I figured you might as well put everything out there since if you lose, you ain't playing tomorrow. So um, it was just kind of put out there all or nothing. And I think that uh, the most important thing is uh, it's not about who you have on your team, it's who has much determination and passion to win the game. And I think that we definitely have that. We have desire, we have heart. Um, I think we have a very, very young team that definitely can run the floor and uh, we'll be ready. And we'll be as best prepared as we possibly can and go out and play just like anybody else.